Hello, today's video we have the following content. Peacekeeping Riot Squad has exceeded 100 million inches box office and broke two records. This is the strength that a top class should have won Yibo. This name has been like a breath of fresh air, sweeping across all fields of the entertainment industry in recent years. With his comprehensive talents and outstanding performances, he has become the representative of the new generation of young idols. Not only has he repeatedly achieved great success in his acting career, but he has also set a positive example in his public image. His story is the most vivid interpretation of the term all-round artist. This year's May Day show was really lively. Once again, we saw the power of those big stars. Their popularity is not covered. The May Day movie was released, and everyone was originally optimistic about the Siege of Kowloon Walled City starring a veteran Hong Kong star. The pre-sale box office was very good. But as soon as the movie was released, the audience's evaluation came out, and Peacekeeping Riot Squad suddenly became a dark horse at the box office and became extremely popular. The box office of this movie exceeded 100 million on the first day it was released, which is incredible. Moreover, it also broke two records and set 32 awesome milestone moments. So awesome. All the data of this movie show that its momentum is really so strong, it's simply amazing. Nowadays, choosing actors is very particular, because their box office appeal is directly related to the box office performance of the movie. This movie has invited many super popular stars to star in it, which of course makes the movie more popular and popular. However, the quality of the movie itself is also quite good, and it is not the kind that relies solely on stars to support the scenes. In fact, Many films of the same type have already been released in our domestic film market. Take Wu Jing's Wolf Warrior 2 and Lin Che Oxen's Operation Red Sea as examples. These two movies are war-themed blockbusters and are particularly popular. I have seen so many movies of the same type, but Peacekeeper still made me feel quite fresh and interesting. The previous good works have done a great job in war scenes, but Peacekeeping Riot Squad is different. It mainly talks about our Chinese peacekeeping troops. This is its highlight and special feature. Looking at the Chinese blue helmets on the screen, we can feel the handsomeness and responsibility of our Chinese soldiers. However, the movie Peacekeeping Riot Squad not only allows us to see how they complete those difficult tasks on the battlefield, it also explains their difficulties and not easy aspects so that we can understand them better thorough. There are many unforgettable scenes in this movie. But the one that made me most uncomfortable was when the Peacekeeping Riot Squad went to the square to maintain order. When they were walking in the alley, they were suddenly shot by many people. When they got to the square, they were even attacked by rioters. It was so frustrating. But during this process, Captain Yu Weidong, the character played by Wang Jingyu, kept asking everyone to stay in formation and not to shoot randomly. After the incident was over, some team members wondered why the captain gave such an order. But what Yu Weidong said let us know the biggest difficulty faced by the peacekeeping and anti-riot teams if they start to fight back, they will probably hurt some innocent civilians. Yu Weidong also discovered that many of those who participated in the riots were ordinary people who were deceived by others. When we encounter thugs, we have to fight back, but when we encounter civilians, the peacekeeping and anti-riot teams have to do their best to protect them. Because of protecting civilians, the peacekeeping and anti-riot teams have to take greater risks, which brings about the second trouble the locals made at us. The peacekeeping and anti-riot teams came to the village to maintain law and order. The local soldiers were a little worried about us. In fact, this may be a question many people have about our Chinese peacekeeping and anti-riot teams. The idea of our team members is that we all hope for world peace, so that places where wars are fought can also become peaceful so that children can have a happy and trouble-free childhood. However, this answer failed to convince the locals. They feel that if they cannot even trust people from their own country, how can they trust people from other countries? Such trust issues make the operations of the Chinese peacekeeping and anti-riot teams more difficult and dangerous. Although the work of the peacekeeping and anti-riot teams is difficult, they sincerely help time and time again, even sacrificing themselves to protect everyone. Such efforts finally won the trust of local people. In the previous plot, our Chinese peacekeeping and anti-riot team stayed in place most of the time. They did not speak freely and had absolute say as they did in China. Even though the captain and the others defused the bomb in just 10 seconds during the rescue process, they were still questioned by foreign troops. 
This movie felt so depressing until almost the end, it was really frustrating. But do you know? When Captain Yu Weidong of the anti-riot team successfully rescued Sniper Yang Zhen, the voiceover told us that our Chinese peacekeeping and anti-riot team finally took control of this area. In just a few minutes, they cleared all the obstacles, rescued our players, and then switched from defense to offense. It was so exciting to watch. To be honest, it is really exciting to see the peacekeeping and Thai riot team completing their mission so quickly and everyone cooperating so well. The Chinese peacekeeping and anti riot teams can also show the power of our Chinese soldiers, but because they have no control, there are many restrictions when performing tasks abroad, which makes it difficult for them to display their strength. The movie Peacekeeping Riot Squad is really great. It not only allows us to see the unique style of these team members, but also allows us to feel the hard work behind them and their super strength. The inherent advantage of the movie Peacekeepers is that it has gathered a large group of celebrities who are particularly popular and have a guaranteed box office. Wang Jingai was really a man in the entertainment industry who has served in the military. His suitability for military dramas is unmatched by other actors. Captain Yu, played by Wang Jingai, is wearing a military uniform and a blue helmet. At first glance, I felt that he was that character. He has that sense of military strength all over his body, and his eyes are sharp and alert. He is simply the representative of the Chinese military. So handsome. Wang Jingai's acting skills are really great. He has acted in many similar dramas and is becoming more and more proficient now. When he plays the captain, his calm and sophisticated feeling is just like the real thing. Moreover, when the character encounters injustice, his forbearance and restraint are also particularly well acted, which is really admirable. This time Wang Yibo tried to play a sniper in the play. Because he had played a soldier before, it was a piece of cake for him this time, no problem at all. The character played by Wang Yibo is different from Wang Jingayu. He is like the somewhat thorny person in the team, but he is not the kind of person who always causes trouble. He is a tough guy who is full of sense of justice and unwilling to accept weakness. In the movie, Yang Zhen, played by Wang Yibo, saw the thugs shooting, and the police immediately ran away. He immediately cursed coward with disdain in his eyes. It can be seen that he particularly hates this kind of villain. This also shows his straightforward personality, saying whatever he wants after watching the whole movie. The character that makes people feel most distressed is the character Zhang Chuxi. She is the only female soldier in the peacekeeping and anti-riot team and is responsible for translation work. Compared with others, she is more emotional and very persistent in doing things. In the square, she saw a child being hit by a gun. Although she tried her best to save him, she still couldn't save him. This was her first time experiencing a real battlefield, and the feeling of shock and grief left her unable to recover for a long time. Her performance was so real that it made people feel so sad and felt sorry for her. Zhang Chuxi's eyes reveal a deep desire for peace, which is really touching. In addition to these three big names, there are many supporting actors who also perform very well. Like Huo Hao, who is a very stable type, Yin Ocean has a leadership temperament, and Zhu Yuan is handsome and upright. Although they don't have many roles, they are eye-catching every time they appear. The movie Peacekeepers has great acting skills and a well-written script. It is really true that it won the box office champion on the first day of May Day. Next news. Wang Yibo, who is only 26 years old, is in the golden period of his life and career. With his youthful vitality and unlimited potential, he shows a charm that spans the ages. Different from the single-image positioning of many artists, Wang Yibo's roles are extremely malleable. From the noble prince in costume dramas to the police and soldiers in modern dramas, to e-sport masters, period poets, and even spy agents, every role is unique. He is endowed with a unique soul that is impressive. This kind of role span not only tests the actor's acting skills, but also tests his deep understanding and ability to express the inner world of different characters. Wang Yibo not only successfully mastered these roles, but also cleverly integrated his own personality into them, making each character unique and demonstrating his profound heritage and unremitting pursuit as an actor. In the field of film and television, Wang Yibo's achievements are equally impressive. The movies he starred in not only achieved gratifying box office results, but more importantly, they won unanimous praise from the industry and audiences. In particular, he won the Golden Rooster Award for his role in MR. Yee.
This is not only a high recognition of his acting skills, but also a testament to his artistic pursuits. Best Proof In terms of TV dramas, the success of Storm Chaser has opened up a new path for dramas with revolutionary historical themes. It not only sparked heated discussions on the internet, but also achieved excellent ratings on major TV stations, achieving the double harvest of word of mouth and business has further consolidated Wang Yibo's position in the film and television industry. In addition to his brilliance in the film and television industry, Wang Yibo's talents in music and dance are also amazing. As a stage king who is good at singing and dancing, he can always conquer the audience with his powerful and beautiful performances on the stage. Every performance is the ultimate pursuit of art. Whether it is dynamic modern dance or soulful love song interpretation, he can easily control it, showing the style of an all-round artist. What is even more commendable is that Wang Yibo has always maintained a positive public image, actively participated in various public welfare activities, and used his influence to spread positive energy. From his wonderful performance at the opening ceremony of the Shanghai Olympic Games to becoming an artist who has integrated the promotion of the centenary journey, the Winter Olympics, the Asian Games, and the Olympic Games, every step he takes is on the road to promoting Chinese culture and conveying the spirit of the times. Such behavior not only enriches his personal image, but also sets a good example for fans and society. The rise of Wang Yibo is a choice of the times and the result of personal efforts. In this context of an era where there is a shortage of talent and an urgent need for fresh blood, his appearance has undoubtedly injected a breath of fresh air into the entertainment industry and given more confidence and encouragement to the younger generation. Thank you for watching the video. If this is your first time watching a video, please subscribe to the channel, like and leave your comments to help us develop your channel.